In Chicago, um, in the train cars, there are separate compartments at either end that have one seat. And I used to love sitting there and look and like looking out at the city. And one day I was doing just I was doing that and a man came in and this man he kind of just like stood opposite me and continued to look at me for the remaining of my train ride, which was like fifteen to twenty more minutes, and his gaze was just like so inescapable and felt like he thought I was vulnerable. Um, my being like my my body to him must have just seemed like some thing that he could consider his. And he stood really, really close to me. And it felt like he didn't recognize my body as fully occupying a space. Or he, like he didn't see it as an independent entity. And the tranquility and safety that I had always associated with this space kind of just vanished in that moment. And I stopped sitting there after that. Yeah, he never left. He just stayed in there the entire time I was there. And I eventually got off the train feeling like I had done something incorrect or wrong. And that, I don't know, that's kind of something I've always remembered is that I wasn't able to be in a space with a space I loved and associate so much with my like growing up and coming of age. And now I can't really be in that space and feel safe anymore because someone had the the audacity and kind of like they thought they had the right to just take to like stare at me and make me feel like I was the culprit of something that I was doing something that I shouldn't be